Hi, my name is Roland P. Martinez and I'm an engineering student of Mapua University and I'm here to show you how to create GUI or uh, graphical user interf interface using MATLAB. Uh, this is my project in Signal Spectra and Signal Processing Laboratory or ECE-107L section E01. This is required by our professor, Engineer Leonardo Valiente Jr. To start, we need to open MATLAB. Here, you can see the MATLAB interface. Then, uh, to start uh, building GUI or GUI, uh, we can enter guide in the command console or we can go to the new, then uh, we can select figure. Okay, so we'll be then greeted with a small uh, quick start window, which is you can choose uh, blank GUI, GUI with UI controls, GUI with access and menu, modal questions dialog. Uh, Right now, we can choose save new figure as, okay. So, we can browse to select the folder which I will uh, save my project. It is located on the desktop and I already named it as Martinez Project. Okay, then I will name it as Martinez underscore project. Then replace it and select OK. Hit enter. Okay, this will be the guide or the graphical user interface development editor. So, this will be the can canvas or the area where we can uh, input components for our GUI. Uh, I'm here to extend the area of the GUI so I can put larger amount of components inside. First things first, we need to check the required uh, specification of the project. Um, so we need a tree access for the main GUI layout, which is uh, we need to drag and drop the axis on the area. Then we can extend or make it larger we need to make three of these for the input and two outputs so this will be the first access then we can just copy and paste on the dashboard second access Piece. and this will be our third axis okay so after putting the axis we can uh, we can name this three axis into their respective um, functions for the specifications the first axis will be the output one so we can uh, change the tag or the name under the inspector uh, Inspector editor. So we will find the tag. That which is here, right here. So this name at, as access one. So we can put here output. Output one. Hit enter. Then go back. 
Then on the second axis, we can change the tag name to output to tag name. Output to hit enter. And for the third axis, we can change the tag as as input. Okay. So to continue, um, we can change the color of the area of the background by selecting it, double clicking on it, then go to the color or background color. Select it. So I'll choose gray for my background. Then we need to input um, text for the for my name and the section and the course. And for the project uh, name, static text. Then I can change the text inside by selecting the string on the inspector editor. Then make it as my name. Then I can increase the font size by selecting the font size and make it as 10, 10, then the weight as bold, then hit enter and close the inspector. Okay, so we can extend the area where our text can be seen. Okay. Uh, I will increase the font size more. Okay. The next, I will add another static text for the date. Okay, this will be submitted on May 2, 2020. So I'll change the date or the static text as. May 2020 and oh, I also change the size as 12 like the first one and the font weight as bold then hit enter and close the inspector then we can extend the area of the text to make it visible Then, um, the project specification need to have a uh, functions like a button that can browse files and clear the files or save the file. Okay, so I am planning to insert a button right here. So, I will select push button. button copy the push push button then paste it for the save and for the clear okay so we have the three buttons for the browse save and clear but we can manage to group the buttons as one in a using a UI panel so we can select here a panel drag and drop on the area where our GUI is located then we can drag the 
push buttons inside the UI panel. So later we we can change the uh, text as C and the tag as C. So later in our code, we can select the tag to change the callback callback function. So hit enter. Same as the browse button. Hit enter and close the inspector. And clear button. Close the inspector. So to align these three buttons, uh, you need to select the three buttons by clicking the shift key and clicking the three buttons. Then select align objects, align or distribute on vertical or horizontal position. You can also select the spacing or you can set the spacing around 15 and align apply and hit ok So I'll add another edit text on the bottom, bottom layout, section and the date, uh, I will change the string for the course, DCE 107L. E01 and the quarter this project is created. We don't need to change the tag because we don't need to have a callback for this static text. So we can also increase the font size as 12 and then the font weight in bold okay close the inspector so there is okay so we just extend a bit more on the right side we are going to enter another edit text or a static text for the name of the project so double click change the text static text as um, because it's all about image processing I will title it as image processing toolkit So after that, we can change the font size into 12 and the font weight as bold. Close the inspector. Then we can extend the, the static text area. Okay. So after that. We can also change the name of the panel 
and the tag name so we can find it on our code later but we don't need a callback for this panel so I'll just name it as default but the tag will change the title into the loading of image or load image uh, we can increase the size of the text and maybe and the font weight as bold so we can position the text of the title as center tab. Close the inspector. I will need to adjust the buttons. I'll drag down to make it prettier. Then, um, for the specifics of the output one, uh, it is said that we need to to change the input input image into binary index or multiplex or RGB for the output one. So I'm planning to add radio buttons for the functions of each uh, image process. So I will make six radio buttons I will just copy and paste and to group these radio buttons uh, we will need another panel UI panel as container for these radio buttons so if we, we increase the size move the radio buttons inside the panel and move the container panel below the output one so, copy again, paste inside, Oops. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So aligning the radio buttons using the alignment tool or align objects. Apply. Mm -hmm. and object. Okay, I will name the first radio button as binary type. We'll change the string binary into binary and the tag also as binary close it the next double click into index In the intensity intensity multi frame Red. Green. Let's 
So we need another one radio button for blue. Just copy one and paste inside. Move. Then we can realign it again to make it prettier. Or we can also adjust the UI panel okay, to continue for the output to. We need to do the filter type 1, uh, morphologic opening uh, to estimate the background, subtraction of the background, image content adjustment, and threshold for the image. So we can put another container UI panel inside the area for the fear type so we can name it as fear type FRI type make it center top then the font size will be 10 and the font weight will be bold. Close the inspector. So, inside the fair type UI panel, we need to insert a pop up menu. So inside the pop-up uh, menu inspector, we can change the name as fair type. F I R for the tag we can change the fair type as the tag as fair type. So under the pop-up menu for the pop-up menu, uh, we can select the string box to make a menu under the fear type. So we can add fear type, motion, replicate, and full. Hit OK, then close the inspector. So we need another UI container panel for the background. Name it as background. Then center top, increase the size, font size to 10, and make it bold. So I'll add another two buttons inside the background. I will select push button for the morphologic and the subtraction. We'll rename it as morphologic. And the tag name as Morphologic again. And Subtraction for the another button.
I can align these two buttons using the align align object. Apply, okay. For the adjustment, we need another UI panel for the adjustment. Change the title to adjustment. Make it center top. The font size will be 10 and the font weight will be both. Here inside adjustment, we can add the slider for the brightness and contrast. can copy this slider then paste it inside and rename the first slider as brightness the second slider as contrast So to make it visible, we can add subtext under the brightness and contrast. So we can adjust this UI panel. Then we will just adjust this below. So we can adjust the area of the project. Then we can adjust the title, the section and the course in section and the title to make a room for the subtext. We can insert uh, static text below the sliders. Copy and paste. So change the string to brightness for the first slider. We don't need to change the tag because we don't need to have a callback for this static text. So we can also change the font size to 10 and make it bold. So we can extend the area of the uh, static text. Then we can change the string for the another static text as contrast contrast change the font size to 10 
and bow. Increase also the area of the static text. We need another UI panel for the threshold. We only need one slider here for the threshold. Uh, change the UI panel name or the title as the threshold. Make it center top. Change the font size to 10 and the font weight to both. So adjust the or increase the length of the slider. Decrease the UI height, UI container height, we also adjust this one, we will make some adjustment for the subtext for the input, output, and Another output. So I'll add static text below this axis, copy and paste. I will change the string name of the static text as output, output 1. Then increase the font. Font size is 10, then make it bold. So we can increase the area of the text for the next access static text. We change the name into output 2, increase the size to 10, and make it bold. So we can increase the area of the static text to make it be visible. For the input one, uh, we can change the static text as original image. Image, we can increase the font size into 10 and make it bold. To enclose the inspector. Increase the size of the static text to make the text visible. So we can add another button for the saving of the images when processed by adding a push button below them. Push button for the output too. And we can change the string for the push button's name as save. Save. 
image one. We can increase the static text area to view uh, to make the text visible. Adjust the location to make it prettier. We can also change the colors of the UI panels, buttons, and etc. So, for my preference, I will change the uh, UI panel for color for filter ca characteristic as light blue or maybe a cyan. Closed inspect. I can also change the color of the buttons for the four uh, push buttons. I need a lighter color. Okay. Then for the RGB buttons, for the red, I will select it as red. Green for green. And blue for blue. For the saving buttons, I can change all the buttons into I can change the colors of the buttons into blue or light blue. I will also change the background color of the Pure type, pure type as green for the background, for the threshold, I will change the background color into olive green, and for the adjustment, I will change the background color into yellow. For the loading image um, UI panel, I will change the color into red. For the access, I can change the colors for the output one. A smoke white the output to save and for the input I will also add another button here for the clearing of all the images I will name it as Clear On. After inspecting the whole GUI, uh, we can now proceed to coding. First, we need to save the GUI by clicking the Save button or Control S. 
making our folder. After saving our graphical user interface, uh, we can also run here to test again. Then close. So after saving the GUI that I created, I can test it again by clicking the run button or F5. So I can check all the buttons, the radio buttons, the push buttons, the pop-up menu, sliders, and the access. Uh, all details that uh, or, or components that I've created inside the graphical user interface editor must be here. So then we can proceed to uh, coding for the functions or callback functions for of each uh, components inside our GUI. So we can proceed to MATLAB uh, editor. So this code is automatically saved or created by the uh, after saving the uh, fig file or the GUI interface that I've created. So here I can uh, edit all the callbacks for the for each uh, components that will have functions. So for example, um, going back to the GUI or the guide. Uh, I will need a callback for the browse button. For the browse button, I can use the keyboard uh, using Control F to find the browse callback. So right here, it is said that this uh, block of code will execute on button press of browse. So here, right here, I need to edit the code block to make the functionality of the uh, browse button. So here, um, to open a image, I need to uh, call the va variable as uh, original image. So original image. So to make it global or Global means you can uh, you can access the variable uh, using another other function inside the class. So we can make it global. Global or original image. Then uh, we need also to call the uh, variable file name. So global file name when opening a file and global uh, path name for opening a uh, directory or path inside your um, workspace or your uh, computer folder. So after calling these three vari global variables, um, we can create the, the callback function using the variables that we already created. So, first, the file name. And the path name. There is a built-in function in MATLAB which is UI get file when you are opening a file from your uh, computer folder. So when you are uh, getting a file uh, inside the UI get file, we declare the uh, file type file types of the images that we want to access. So for 
PNG files, um, BMP files, JPEG or JPG. So we can also add asterisk or the wildcard um, wildcard sign to find all files that is that has extensions of PNG, BMP, and JPG in the computer folder. So we can also add a string which prompts the user to pick any image which is which has extensions like PNG, BMP and JPG. So close the line. So the original image variable original image will be equal to the file name and path name. So after uh, opening the file name, file name, and path name, these two arguments will then be the original image. Then, to call the original image or to read the original image, I will use the built-in function I'm read. with the argument inside plus original image. I can set this function into a variable which is i is equal to i am read original image then I want to show the original image in the access one or the input input access so I will use the built-in function I am show um, I am show the variable uh, or the parameter I variable I but we need to access the uh, but we need to show the original image in the out in the input one in the input one so we need to call the function of the access which is access the parameter handles that the the tag of the access that we need to use so the tag of the access is input so here in our code we can use access handles that input so close the line so save now we can test if the function is working So save, then run. So to test again the function of the browse button, I already uh, copy and paste um, images, sample images inside my project. So inside my project, project folder, I have here uh, several images for the testing. So Again, we can save the script, then run. So, my GUI will pop up. Then, after clicking the browse button, 
a window from my uh, computer will be opened and after that I will select a sample image from the library or the um, project folder that I'm in I will select this one after selecting the image will be shown in the input one or the access one so meaning our, our function a callback function is working properly next we'll, we will then proceed to uh, test the uh, output one using the binary button radio button so first we will check the uh, callback function located at the M file or the main M file then using the control F uh, on my keyboard I will select binary then find so binary is located here this binary callback will then be the function used for the binary button, uh, radio button of our GUI. Here, I will, I will declare uh, the, again, the global variable original image, original image, then after that, Uh, I will set variable uh, variable binary binary equal to the original image which is uh, I am read original image as the parameter then I will set up another variable process image equal to the I am to BW function or the binary function built in function of the digital image processing, which then be the um, parameter will be binary. So this uh, this process image will be shown in the output one or the access one. So I will use the access handles that that out output one and using the I am show built in function. I will set the process image. process image I will set the process image inside the I'm show function so saving again the file and pressing the run button to test if the binary button is working click the browse button to select another image as the original image then I will select binary button. So I encountered an error in the binary callback function. To check the error, you can click the command window. This tells that the error is on the line 235. So, so uh, saving again the M file and running running the script will show our GUI. So, clicking the browse button and selecting another sample image file. 
and clicking the binary button showed the um, image file process into binary form. So this tells that the binary button or the radio button of the binary is working properly. Now I'm going to uh, edit the callback function for the index uh, radio button which is located in the Martinez project index callback. So here in my M file I'll find index. So this is the index callback function of the index radio button. Here I will, I will declare again the global uh, variable which is the original image then I will set index as a variable to store im read function of the original image then I will make an array uh, with parameters inside ind and map equal to the uh, RGB to index or RGB to IND built in function of the digital image processing and then set the argument uh, index and at 128 bits. After that, uh, the image must be shown on the output one access so I need to use the access function handles that output one so to show the image in the output one I need also the I am show and setting the variable ind inside the im show function and close the line and saving the script and then run the script running the script you can then select again another image so clicking the index uh, filter characteristic button must show the index image in the output one access so here you can see that the index image is shown in the output one access so meaning that our function or callback function of index is uh, to proceed for the another other function buttons like intensity multi-frame red green and blue same procedure will be uh, used to edit the callback functions so for intensity i will set again the original image as global I'll set intensity variable in, I will make the intensity variable is equal to the I am read function reading the original image in an image I will set uh, another variable named gray is equal to the RGB to gray function setting the argument intensity inside so again to sh uh, use the access handles dot output one then to show the image on the output one or the access output one 
I will use again the IM show built in function and set the variable gray inside. So, saving again. For the multi frame uh, callback function, I will set um, global original image. Then I will set a uh, multi frame uh, variable. is equal to the I am read original image so uh, I will set again another variable which is multi frame is equal to the wrap mat function of the initial multi frame variable and set the array as one 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 four. This means that this uh, multi frame variable or the image will be set as uh, in an array with uh, four images inside. A one frame. So after that, uh, we will use access handles that output one to set the image or the multi frame variable inside the output one. Then we we'll use the montage function to show the image. So saving the M file and running the M file, clicking the browse again and browsing and selecting another image, sample image from our directory and clicking the multi frame must show the multi frame image. So this is the output image of the multi frame. To edit the callback function of the RGB buttons or the red, green, blue buttons, we'll proceed to the M file and find the red callback, which is here. And I will set uh, the global variable original image and the global variable process image. Then, the process image is equal to the time read original image. Then, we will use the process image As a function which is um, with the parameters to three for the RGB color gamut and set to equal to zero. So we will use again the access handles that output one and using the IM show to show the process image in the output one access save the M file and run the script click the browse button and select another sample image and click the red button so it shows that our image is um, processed into red color so same goes here with the green and blue button we will only need to change the RGB parameter here so we'll just copy and paste this whole 
line of codes for the green and for the blue we we'll just change the parameters inside of the process image for the RGB color gamut so we'll just add parameters for the process image for the RGB parameters so for the green we'll need an, uh, to edit this one to one and another parameter of the process image one and three and for the blue callback function we'll copy this one and paste here change the third parameter as one and two then save the file then run to test the callback functions if working so browsing again selecting sample image from the directory and clicking green button show a green um, image in our output one and the blue button showed a blue image in our output one meaning our uh, function callback callback functions are working properly so we will proceed to the another uh, callback function for the output two. For the output two, we need to use fear type background threshold adjustment for the filtering of the output two. So going to our code. We will find first the fear type. So, control F again to find the fear type. So, here are fear type callback function. On this pop up menu, we have fear type, motion, rep replicate, and full. So, we need to have a um, statement for this uh, for. Uh, filter type so in our uh, filter type callback function I will declare again the global variable which is the original image then um, I will use a variable named as pop 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 fear is equal to the get function of the object each object and the value of the object here I am using a switch switch statement to select from the four pop-up um, menus of the fear type menu uh, pop-up menu so I will use the switch statement with my variable pop here then for case 1 process image is equals to I am read of the original image So access handle output two. So I will show the image using the I'm show again. Process image. We also need the global variable for the process image. For case 2, same as the case 1, we need to copy the case 1 block of code 
for the case 2 then we only need to add um, some functions for the each object is equal to the f special function motion of um, 70 and 50 for the motion and process image is equal to the uh, ion filter of the process image of the H object. So we can save now for case 2. Then for case 3, For case 3, same as case 2, we only need to copy the block of code and edit the functions inside of the block of code. So, here we only need to change the motion of for 50 and 40. Then, for the process image, um, for the process image, same parameter goes here, but we need to add the replicate. For the replicate pop up menu. For case 4, you only need to cut here, this, and paste here. We we'll need to edit the H object motion of 50 and 45. Then we will change the string as full. So from here we can end the switch statement using the end and save. Then we can run the script. To, to test the GUI if, if, if the pop-up menu is working. Uh, browse a new image, then select the pop-up menu. So it's working now, and we can also select replicate to test. And for the full, so we will proceed now to the to the background threshold and adjustment. So for the background, we have two buttons, which is morphologic and subtraction. We'll find uh, morphologic using Control F and edit the callback functions of these two um, push buttons. For the morphologic, again, we will uh, declare global variable original image. So, I will declare value is equal to I am read of the original image. Uh, then, the variable morph is equal to the I am open function of the digital uh, image processing. Then, I will set the variable inside as value. Then 12 
function with um, string this then I will use the access handles output to and I will use the I'm show to show the process image or the morph variable on the output to access save the file So same as the subtraction, uh, push button, I will set again the global original image and set uh, variables like subtraction is equal to the I'm read of the original image. Then another variable image subtract. equal to the I am open function subtraction as parameter and strel again with a string strel um, this at 15 so the process image is equal to I am subtract with arguments subtraction and image subtract with access handles that output to and using the I am show again to show the process image and save the file So to test, we can save and run. You can now test the morphologic and subtract button using uh, selecting one uh, image sample and clicking the morphologic and subtraction button. And for the uh, subtraction, So meaning uh, that our uh, callback function for morphologic and subtraction are working. We'll find the threshold callback function. From here, we will now edit the um, threshold call callback function. So for the threshold callback function, we will need again to declare the global variable which is the original image. Next, uh, we will declare the variable threshold is equal to the uh, I am read original image. Then the value of threshold. equal to the get function of the handles that uh, threshold variable then set as value So again, uh, another variable trash will be equal to the threshold and th variable equal to the I am to bw function trash parameters trash and value threshold. To show the process image, we'll just again the access handles that output to 
and the I am show function to show the image. So save the file and run the script. So we'll use the scroll bar to change the value of the threshold. For the adjustment and contrast sliders, we'll need to find the callback functions for the brightness and contrast. Then we will edit the um, block of code. Again, we will set the global variable, original image, set a variable brightness is equal to is equal to the time read of the original image. Then the value of uh, brightness as value of bright is equal to the get function of the handles that brightness then for the value of brightness value bright is equal to the get of the handles of the um, slider that brightness and the string value so for the final uh, variable or the stored uh, image we'll use bright uh, is equal to the uh, brightness and multiplied by the value of bright times uh, 5 for the minimum uh, uh, maximum slider value is the access handles that output to and using the I am show to show the bright or the variable bright or the stored image in the output to then save the script and run To test the function of the adjustment of the brightness, we'll click browse button, select new image from the directory, then we'll uh, use the slider of the brightness. So, you can see that the image, while we are sliding the slider bar, so we will proceed to the callback function of the contrast slider bar. So for the contrast callback function, we will use my keyboard to find the contrast callback function. Here, I will uh, edit the block of code for the callback function. Uh, callback function of the contrast uh, slider bar setting the global variable original image i will declare contrast as the variable for i am read opening the original image and another variable value of contrast which is value contrast equal to the get 
handles of the uh, slider bar, which is the contrast. And setting for the value. So again, uh, process image. is equal to the local contrast contrast function process image is equal to the local contrast function and set the parameters contrast of 0.4 and the value of contrast value contrast we we'll use again the access handles that output to to show the output image on the access or output to access box and I'm show process image so saving the script file and running the script file again to test to find save button or save callback function using find So this is the main uh, save button of the of our GUI. So again, we declare the global uh, variable original image. Then we declare our variable original image is equal to is equal to the get image which is a built-in uh, function get image handles the uh, main uh, input for the original image that we selected from browsing so input handles that input then to save file we need to use the file name and path name to save file we need to use the file name and folder name equal to the UI uh, put file another built-in function to save um, image so in a string uh, new image as default name of our save file so I will set new as variable for the new file and using the full file uh, function and the folder name as argument with, together with the file name I will use I am right uh, built-in function Uh, to save the new original image then save the script for the second save image use control F to find the save image to image 1 then same as the save image or the save button 
we use the global uh, variable original image We'll just cut script of the code of the original save uh, callback for the remaining uh, save images. But here, instead of uh, say, uh, using the original image, we'll use the image from the output one so we we'll change it to output one to save the image or the process image from the from the output one then we will copy this script or block of uh, script to the save image too then we will use this and changing the handles that output one to output two to save the file or the image which is processed in the output file or the access output two then we will save the script after that we can run the uh, script to test then I will browse for a sample image Uh, for the output one, I will select uh, blue, uh, red. Then for the output two, I will uh, increase the threshold. So after that, I can uh, select save image one and save the as, as red. Then for the output two, I can save the output two using the save image bot image two button and trash hold one so therefore our uh, save button are working properly for this uh, original image we can also uh, use the save button when we want to use an original image and change its name into a new new name like original new Okay, therefore our uh, buttons, saving buttons, are working properly. Con to continue, um, the remaining buttons that we need to uh, edit will be the callback for the clear and clear all. For the clear, it will only clear the input file or the original image. For the clear all, it will uh, clear all the images that display that is uh, that are displayed in the uh, three axes: the output one, the output two, and the original input. To do that, we will go back to the M file or the script and find for the uh, clear callback button. This clear call, callback function uh, will serve as the uh, clear uh, clear button function. So from here, I will set the global um, variable original image. Then I will select the access to be uh, cleared for the original uh, clear image uh, clear. I will select the access uh, one or the input access. So here I will set the access handles that input and using the CLA uh, function. Handles input uh, 
and input and reset the access input. After that, uh, I will set the access handles to the default um, visibility. Which is uh, set handles input, then uh, argument visible, and on. So, Save. Then we can test the uh, clear callback function. So from here, uh, I will browse for another image. Test that. I will clear using the clear button. So it's working. For the clear all callback function, I'll find the clear all callback function. Clear all. Then, so after that, we can save the script file and run to test for the callback functions of the clear and clear all buttons. For the clear, uh, now we'll try again to browse a new image. Then, to clear the original image, we will select clear. So it is working. For the output 1 and output 2, select again another image. Then we will use uh, some um, filter characteristic for output 1 and a threshold for the output 2. So to clear all, all these images, we'll use the clear all button. So when pressing the clear all button, the images must be deleted or uh, removed from the uh, output 1, output 2, and original image. So press the clear all. So therefore, uh, our um, clear all button and clear button are working properly. So this is the phase 3 of our um, GUI uh, making in MATLAB uh, for testing. This phase is for testing. So this is the final product or the final GUI or graphical user interface that I created. And this is the main file or the M file of the GUI that I uh, made and edited and checked for the errors and also now we can test the GUI by uh, running the F5 or the run button from the fig file or you can use the script file to run so from here We'll select um, using browse button. We'll select image, sample image. Then we'll use binary for the output one and clear type motion for the output two. Then we will clear the images again, clear all. Then to test again for the other functions, we use the browse button again to find another sample image. So we use this one. Then we'll uh, select red for the output one and for the output two, we'll select uh, adjustment by brightness. So 
So we can see that the brightness is increasing as we increase the scroll or the slider. So we can clear all again to free the access from these images. So I will use the original, then I will select green. And for the output too, I will select the contrast. I will slide contrast to increase the contrast of the image. So we can see that this function or these buttons are working properly. So I will select another image from my directory. Then I will select intensity for the output one. And for the output two, I will select the subtraction. So we can say that our buttons are working properly. For the final testing, we can use the this image. Then we can uh, use the blue button for the blue output and for the uh, output too, I will use the full for fear type. So we can say that our um, buttons are working properly. So for the saving and clearing of these images, you can use the save to save the original image as rig and for the input one or output one you can save as blue and for the output two we can save as full And to clear all these images, again, we can use the clear button if we want to, to clear only the original image or we can clear all the images from these three axes using the clear all button.